Dog left howling and crying for 20 minutes while locked inside roasting vehicle in Sainsbury's car. A horrified shopper took these photos of a dog suffering inside a hot car in the Sainsbury's car park. The witness, who did not want to be named, said that the pooch could be heard crying and howling as the mercury rose on Sunday afternoon. The customer was concerned enough to start taking pictures and even timed how long it took for the dog's owner to return to his distressed pet. In total, 20 minutes passed before the dog was released from the hot vehicle, Somerset Live reported. I could hear the dog crying and howling and I could see the window was only cracked open a little bit, the onlooker said. I timed how long the dog was in the car for and it was 20 minutes until the owner came to the car to let the dog out. It's thought an announcement was made over the tannoy at the Sainsbury's store in Sherborne, Dorset, to call for the dog to be let out at around 3 p.m. The Respka has repeatedly warned of the dangers of shutting dogs and hot cars in recent years, even if it's only for a few minutes. A spokeswoman for the Respka said, It's important to remember not to leave any animal in a car or caravan, or in a conservatory or outbuilding, where temperatures can quickly rise even when it doesn't feel that warm outside. For example, when it's 22 C outside, within an hour the temperature can reach 47 C inside a vehicle, which can result in death. In an emergency, the group's advice is to call 999 to report a dog in a hot car to police. As a charity, the RISPC may not be able to attend quickly enough and, with no powers of entry, we'd need police assistance at such an incident. In an emergency, it is best to dial 999 and report a dog in a hot car to police. The Rspka says it may not be able to attend quickly enough and, with no powers of entry, it would need police assistance to get into a car without the owner's permission. If the animal is displaying any sign of heat stroke, such as panting heavily, drooling excessively, is lethargic or uncoordinated, or collapsed and vomiting, call 999 immediately. If the situation becomes critical and police can't attend, many people's instinct is to break into the car to free the dog. But please be aware that, without proper justification, this could be classed as criminal damage. Make sure you tell the police of your intentions and take photos or footage of the dog as well as names and numbers of witnesses. The law states that you have a lawful excuse to commit damage if you believe that the owner of the property that you damage would consent to the damage if they knew the circumstances. Once removed from the car, move the dog to a shaded, cool area and douse him, her with cool water. Allow the dog to drink small amounts of cool water. If the dog is not displaying signs of heat stroke, establish how long the dog has been in the car and make a note of the registration. If you are at a public event or venue ask member of staff to make an announcement of the situation over the tannoy, if possible, and get someone to stay with the dog to monitor its condition. The RSPCA receives the equivalent of one call per hour about dogs trapped in hot cars.